your favorite show, David? It's, yeah, David. Uh, yeah, I mean, what about '86? What brought it to the top for you? Uh, I mean, I guess honest, honestly, the second episode wasn't as strong as the first one, even though the action scene was pretty cool. Uh, I enjoy. I, I thought it was really well animated for that fight scene they had. It's just the first time I thought I saw CGI. I was like, "God damn, that's very nice CGI in an anime." <laughs> it's clean, Not bad, right? It's pretty clean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just more curious about more um, lore drops of like the the three type of like enemy shifts that or enemy machines you get to memorize. It's like, oh god, oh, dude, there's what? no way I'm gonna remember no. any of those. Yeah, names. I'm just them, like so. in one ear, out the other. I'm like, okay, cool, <laughs> yeah. a- alien robot. <laughs> um, but. I one thing I was wondering about David, maybe you picked up on it, is the like the birds that came flying in that covered the sunlight and like dropped the temperatures. Were those real birds? Were those mechanical? Those I were mechanical. mechanical. I think we should ask they were mechanical. Like yeah. But were they purposely sent in then? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. I missed. I was like zoning out in the first like bit of the explanation, and then I was like, wait, something's off here. When I thought they were birds, so sorry. Yeah. Oh Lord. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. I thought I even said, like, even mentioned about how, like, you know, like how, like, like when the temperature drops, basically, like, it's it's cold in there for them. Mm-hmm. But then also, uh, Tizzle is saying uh, EMP. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, EMP. Yeah. Mm, I'm okay. just, so I'm just more curious about like the one thing that really stuck out for me in this episode was when like when the uh, Lena like when she went to that classroom and she started like trying to say like the truth. It's like I don't know for because like they cause they mentioned how they mentioned in this episode like the war started nine years ago. And how, and how, like they have like the, the empire of of a gate, whatever I don't forget the name, but it's like they have like their gold own. Mm-hmm. Their what? Like gold or gold? Uh, or, yeah, such as G. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something, yeah, but like they they have their own like autonomous units. So again, you wonder if it's like their own like humans piloting that too, and then how like it's supposed to like go off in like. Like six years or whatever, or how many years? Two more years. Two more years. So that's where the two more years comes from, which it still seems sketch. Like if the way that they treat their own units as as non human, like I don't know how they they can think like the empire's like units are also non humans. I wonder if I see that side, but I guess yeah, I was thinking more about um when she was like trying to like say the truth. It's like it seems really flim like for such a propaganda theme, it seems really really rare that she's able just to do that like in a classroom and just like say it like out loud and like 100 really, percent i yeah. really think about their consequences it's like isn't this like if it was really that that much of propaganda wouldn't you went the i know like the presser was freaking out but he didn't seem that like it didn't seem like it was tip of his life that she's saying it it seems yeah like, well and then her weird. friend afterwards right, was yeah. just like you're gonna get in trouble now like almost kind of teasing her and yeah, and her just being like no it's all good my uncle is you know the head of the military and, and again <laughs> there's, we, there's weaker things that you, you hate to see where it's like lena does feel kind of like this untouchable character that to be able to just waltz into the main establishment and yeah. you know say things how it is with literally no ramifications it's kind of like really like okay yeah, you, know, even, you did such a good job in episode one of building up this, you know, propaganda. Yeah, and even, but even public. even before then, it's like you're saying that it's the the war started nine years ago, which doesn't sound like it's that long. That they had to do this emergency, like redistricting, redistricting had built like the walls. It seems like such a short time period just to basically like just shut out like all the eighty six people. So, I mean, we really don't know how like everything like you know works there though. We don't really know yeah, like the way much of the. I'm just thinking, like, the way they explained this episode didn't really, like, make much sense to me, or didn't, it didn't give that strong yeah, sense of, like, of, like, authority they, and propaganda that I was thinking from the first episode. Did they explain why they chose the, like, silver-haired individuals? Like, did they have anything special about them? No, or, or did they just literally know. drop, like, don't know. hey, they yeah, say, we decided to classify all, uh, you know, silver-haired, or I can't remember what They just what say they, it's, like, name like is, it's, like, their version of, like, perfect evolution or whatever, so... And then yeah, and they're just like, like, okay, you guys are rank one or whatever, yeah, so... Yeah. so. I mean, if anything, that's that's if the information that they're teaching that we're being shown so far is the truth. It could just right. be like manipulated or, as well. Yep. Right. But you know what? I but to bring back to the point about like the the main chick just walking up in the class and saying whatever, 
well, it's it's refreshing to see a character know that they have plot armor. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> like if plot armor that. was to be manifested into the show, like it would be this. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, that's all right. Malco's protecting me. I don't need so, to worry well, about that. Well, that was the shit. one thing I didn't really, I didn't understand where when Lena is, you know, taking that stand at the front of the class, he's looking over at the the MP who's sitting mm-hmm. in the chair, and like he's there mm-hmm. for like certain cuts, and then on the final cut, he's not there. Was that more so just to show, like, oh, yeah, I can get away with this? Like, I didn't really understand what the purpose of that was. I, think... I mean, I would assume we'd see this guy later. I just thought it was, like, maybe a future no. character. Yeah, like, I don't know if he's, like, yeah. a, a quote-unquote bodyguard or, like, someone that his her uncle sent to, like, watch after her. But I don't know. It just felt kind of I kind of have more of that. Just, like, pan to him so many times in this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking, like, maybe, like, maybe she, she will get consequences. Maybe she, like, he's got to report it, and, like, maybe she will... She can't like get the protection, the plot armor. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully. I think that for me, I'm not totally sold on like the logic of the lore or anything yet. But we're still learning a lot of it, so I, I'm not like upset with it or anything like that. Still, just kind of taking it for what it is and and you know bringing in the information. But the thing that's really still keeping me attached to this show is the developing relationship between the MC. I looked up her name here. Correct? Is this how you say her name? Vlad Vladalina, <laughs> does that sound right to you they just guys? Call her, they call her yeah. Lena in the show, but they call her Lena. Lena, yeah. okay, yeah. Um, she, I really like her developing relationship with the eighty six crew. Like how they, like I liked that, that they misunderstood her age and they thought that she was younger, but she's actually the same age because their experience, their life experiences are so drastically different. Um, and I kind mm-hmm. of just. It, it, I I just like seeing that that developing relationship, and it's really I haven't seen it happen before where you'd have somebody in her role working remotely with that group and how they have to come to understand each other. I just find it yeah interesting. So that's what's keeping mm-hmm. me, despite the fact that some of the lore is confusing or yeah. <laughs> what I'm, who was saying about the plot armor. I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for more the more of the tense moments. Like I guess we kind of saw that yeah. earlier in the first episode, where like with like with different like processors dying so i i'm mm-hmm. curious like how like what like i think that's where like where the show is gonna shine just like that tense moment where she has she has to argue with like undertaker or whatever about like what mm-hmm. to do and having mm-hmm. these life or death situations that's that's what i'm really waiting for that's yeah. like i yep. i totally agree with that because for me like with shin you know undertaker i'm still not the biggest fan of his character i feel like his character is so trope-esque where you know he is kind of this you know elite soldier who, you know, is doing everything that, you know, works out at the end of the day. And I'm sure it will reach that point where, you know, his plans aren't always perfect and he's going to lean more on Lena. Um, But of course, you know, he's also this very stoic individual that specifically when Lena, you know, tries to be more cheerful and ask, you know, hey, what do you guys plan to do once your, you know, military service is over? And he's just like, oh, I don't know. I've never thought about that. And Again, it reminds me really hard of like Out of Noah Zero and all these other <laughs> like stoic, you know, yeah. super soldiers I mean, that to are be fair, just very that... emotionless. And then someone comes in that's like a princess type character or a female character to, to show them the beauty of the world. But to be fair, at that moment, like I kind of understand from his point because it opens that box where it has all the names of all the, the dead all people soldiers, who died. Yeah. So I understand yeah. like that part why he was like silent on her question. Mm-hmm. So I totally get that first character. So. Yeah. So, but hopefully, like you said, hopefully it develops into something. Um, I wouldn't even say better, but I just want I want more. And I guess we don't have that yet. So. Yeah. I'm just. I think yeah. we will. There's a lot of hype following the show. Yeah. And then I'm I'm, I'm just curious about like if we ever see the Empire side. Like, yeah, I wonder if like if their units are actually autonomous or it's actually like humans piloting to do. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll see. Agreed. I feel like we'll see it at some point. Yeah. Or, so. get, yeah. or get more info. So, so besides the whole like, like the whole weird thing with the plot, the uh, Lena in the classroom, I, I still really enjoying eighty six. Hopefully, it can live up to my expectations. Mm-hmm.